Hey guys, Meg here. I wanted to make a video for you about what I need to have the best rest possible when I'm out on the trail. So there's a, a few key things that I'm sure that you have some version of, but I just wanna show you mine. And then there's kind of a thing or two that I do extra that gives me like a really, really solid rest and that I highly recommend. So first off, the probably most important thing so you're not sleeping on the rocks is my Thermarest NeoAir X Lite. Um, this is the woman's version, so it's a little bit shorter. I think it's built for women who are 5'3 and under, and I'm 5'3, so it's perfect. Um, it's really great that it's a little bit shorter because it means it weighs a little bit less. And it's 330 grams. And this one is yellow. I'm not sure if they're all yellow, but this one is yellow. I've heard a lot of reviews of people saying that the Thermarest New Air X lights are ultra like crinkly when you're trying to go to sleep and they kind of sound like a bag of chips, which you can kind of hear it. They, I guess that it does sound a little bit crinkly, but I don't really notice. Maybe if someone next to me had one, it might bother me, but so far I've slept in a tent with um, friends and my fiance and he hasn't noticed. I know some people may find it slippery but the way my quilt attaches to it I have no problem staying on the mat like it's all good. So the quilt I use is the Enlightened Equipment Revelation Quilts. So as you can see it compresses down super small and yeah this, this one is 850 down and I got the minus six degrees Celsius or the 20 degree Fahrenheit, depending on where you live. This sleeping bag is, or actually it's a sleeping quilt, not a sleeping bag. This is my first time transitioning. It's super awesome. Um, I just got one from off the shelf at Enlightened Equipment Co-op. And as you can see, it's like nice and blue and it's got like the nice gray stripes and the pretty green inside, which I really love. Um, so yeah, just the way that it attaches, like it's got these, these ropes that clip around the bottom of your mat and they're actually really good for keeping me on my mat and saving weight. Um, this thing is awesome. It is the most heaviest thing in my sleep set at 570 grams or 0.57 kilos. And it is one of the best investments I've made, like I pretty much saved a kilo when I moved to one of these bags from an old mech bag, and you Canadians will know mech for Mountain Equipment Co-op. Um, this was a really good step for me. Um, so far I've only used it in Australia, and Australia, the, the weather is fairly mild, but in the more desert-like conditions around Adelaide, um, the nights do get quite cold, so it, I didn't mind sleeping in this. Like, I never really overheated, but sometimes, I would get a little bit slick and I'm not sure like I think it was a combination because of the sleeping mat being basically plastic and then this being ultra warm um, so I did feel a little bit slick and a little bit damp but I wasn't sweaty it was kind of weird so what I did and what I needed to do anyway because I usually have to wake up a few times to pee during the night um, so I need some sleep clothes so I'm not just like running out in the nude and um, so what I pack is like super lightweight um, to sleep in I've got this like little like just capoline tank top from Patagonia um, it's super lightweight 50 grams weighs nothing but like puts a shield between me and my mat which is great and then I've got the capoline pants from whoo, it's getting windy out um, Patagonia pants capoline as well they're super they weigh like 100 grams so really not much at all to carry I'm not sure if I'll need them in the summer on the AT but in the summer and spring and fall and autumn when I've been hiking and camping around Australia these have been gold I absolutely love them and they really do weigh practically nothing okay that's a little bit better it's getting really dark next thing I have number four is some people might think it's a non-essential but for me this is totally essential this is my pillow and it's made by a company called Cocoon. It's called a Cocoon Travel Pillow, 100% polyester. And as you can see, it has like this nice fuzzy 
um, soft fleecy outer layer and then it's got this um, I don't know what it is polyester outer layer so when I go to sleep I put the polyester layer down and then my head gets the nice fuzzy part and sometimes it's a little bit slidey on my sleep mat it depends I think it depends on how I'm sleeping and if I'm really restless or not so then if I am sliding a bit I can just turn down the, the fleecy part onto my therma rest and then it doesn't slide at all it actually like catches it really good so I can just like get a really solid night's sleep which is awesome 110 grams um, oh and also you can unzip here and pull out the the pillow the blow up pillow part is just some plastic plastic bag pretty much and so that you can throw this through the wash which is great and I have washed it and it came out looking like new so I really really love my cocoon pillow from cocoon cool and then last but the most important thing that I wouldn't leave to go hiking without um, is earplugs. These are gold. Um, I wake up super easily. Sometimes I don't want to wake up at the 5 a.m. when the birds start chirping and I have trouble sleeping through it. Um, and then same at night when the, when the wind's blowing really hard. Um, there's other campers around, shuffling around. There's just like little critters moving around the forest. Like I do struggle to sleep when all that's happening and just put things out of my head. Um, so these, just that little bit of extra coating of silence gives me an amazing night's sleep. Super essential. I mean, it's probably not as essential as a warm sleeping bag or my thermorest or my pillow, but you know, this probably weighs one gram and they are absolute lifesavers. So that is my whole sleep set, all five things. Uh, the total weight of those is 1,121 grams or 1.12 kilos. And yeah, 1.12 kilos to have the best sleep on the trail. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if you want to see any content that is similar to this or any other gear lists or or whatever what you would be interested in let me know and i will try to make it happen cool thanks so much for watching guys bye